my biggest pieces of advice when it comes to starting to code and learning how to code and breaking into the industry today are to one, keep it super simple, keep it super easy. Programming is very hard to learn. It's very hard even for me. I've been at it for five years. It's still very hard to learn new things. And so the easier it is for you and the simpler the things that you learn are, the more likely you are to stick to it, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. So take it easy in the beginning. You don't have to go out and learn Laravel or React or any sort of complex frameworks and libraries and things. Build something with plain PHP. Just vanilla PHP. I know a lot of people like to shit on PHP. I personally don't use PHP anymore for my work. I like other languages now and I think PHP does have its trade-offs. But it's great for starting out because it is very web native and it's very simple and has a lot of built-in things where you can build small web apps. They might it might be shitty code, but you can build small web apps very quickly without having to learn as much as you would have to learn by learning a framework like Rails or Laravel or React, right? And I'm not trying to compare React and Laravel. They're different animals, that's a different topic. So that's my first piece of advice. Keep it super simple in the sense of take something like vanilla PHP. I strongly suggest you take vanilla PHP for your beginnings as a programmer because it's super simple to get started with and build product, uh, or build like actual stuff with. I would also suggest you go and you use CSS frameworks like Bulma or Bootstrap. The web, your website is not gonna look great or beautiful, but it's gonna work and it's gonna look decent and you're gonna be able to get started quickly. Same thing uh, with JavaScript, use something like jQuery. It's super simple, it's super old. It, there's a bunch of you know negatives about it, but the point right now is to try to build stuff that just works and that is super simple and easy to get working because you're only learning. It's, you're a long way from learning best practices and from learning Git and from learning all these other things. They don't matter right now. What matters is that you can build a small web app that actually does something useful like track expenses or track how many push-ups you did today or whatever. And it matters that you can actually deploy this on the web online and have a link like where you can share the link with somebody and tell them, hey, look what I've built. And what you want to do, and this is my second piece of advice, is you want to use your new found skills of building shitty code that works and that creates real stuff. And you want to build out a portfolio of these web apps. That's my second piece of advice. The reason why I want to build a portfolio is because one, it proves to other people that you can actually build something, even if you still have a lot of left to learn about best practices. And it proves to them that you actually want to learn these things, it proves to them that you have enthusiasm about this crap. Not only that, but it actually, you know, it, it keeps you going, right? Because you're going to be able in six months from now to look at your portfolio and say, wow, look at what I've built. Six months ago, I didn't know what a for loop is. Now I've built this and this. And that's pretty goddamn cool. And it's gonna, this creativity is gonna keep you going. And if you stick to it long enough, you're gonna learn the best practices and you're gonna learn how to code well, and you're gonna eventually get a job or better freelancing contracts and so on and so forth. And this kind of dives into my third uh, piece of advice. Try to freelance, right? Not from day one, uh, just but from a very early, early point in time. Try to freelance, build, just try to find clients who need basic website, like a brochure website, or who need a WordPress website, or who need a small membership website, and try to build stuff for them and make money. You don't have to charge a lot. It doesn't have to, you don't have to get necessarily even get a lot of freelancing clients, but just a little bit of paid work, if you could get it, it's gonna be amazing. Because it's gonna, again, just like seeing your portfolio build up, it's going to keep you enthusiastic about this. It's gonna get you to see, oh, I've achieved this. I just got paid 500 bucks to build a blog for this guy. And that's not a lot of money, but it's pretty fucking nice that I've been able to do this and that's gonna keep you going. And again, really the name of the game is how can you get yourself to stick to this for the next two years so that you can kind of build yourself up, build your skills up and build your network up. 
And just to be clear, this is advice, I think, mostly for people who didn't go to college, who are, don't live in the U.S. and who don't have any previous knowledge of coding or any network like me. 